exactly this. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, there you go. XRB, 72% favored by you guys in chat. Are they going to live up to the hype? Will XRB be able to take it? Or will making a movie be able to do it on the comp that we have seen them play so well on in the past? Yeah, making a movie, they're going to be going hyper aggressive in this matchup with the Dark Archangel from Ratapai that we know and love. Making a movie, never afraid to take risks in this matchup. Acro actually going to be playing uh, the Assassination build, so he's going to have really good consistent damage. Very scary burst with that Vendetta. I have to see if they can capitalize on it in this matchup. Yeah, Ratapai's kind of made a name for himself as the aggressive priest. Even in a, a meta of tank trinkets, he's still locking in Dark Archangel Discipline Priest as they initiate an attack <laughs> towards Zipai. Burst him down already below half. Looney used his trinket in that exchange, and that wasn't even their final form, making the movie still have Vendetta for a massive punch later on. Blizzo trying to stay on target, actually going after Ratapai. Nice hex on Maro. He's playing relentless. That's a good punish on that trinket choice. Ascendance gets popped. Ratapai deflects with this barrier, soaking up a ton of damage and allowing him to survive Zipai's massive damage. Yep, they need to find one good crowd control on Looney, and they can push through. They have a lot of damage at their disposal with the Vendetta, with the Icy Veins, with the Dark Archangel. They just need to find a good target. Acro moves over. There's the kidney shot on Looney. Can there they take is. him down in this swap? All in. A lot of offensive cooldowns going to be committed, but Looney's going to be completely fine. He uses the bar skin for now. Zipai tossing out those heals to keep himself alive, but Looney's not out of the woods yet. Struggling to keep himself alive. Ratify just spamming out the offensive to spells. You can see his mana just get low lower and lower as Acro tries to reconnect to his target. Good damage coming in from Morrow, but Looney manages to escape. Yeah, but they managed to connect on Ratapai now as two members, and Turbo on a Disciplined Priest is not an easy thing to survive as a healer. Looks like making a movie are making swaps constantly to Looney, but Blizzo is the best defensive warrior in the game, hands down. He will save you any day. If you're a healer having a hard time, you just type in LFG looking for Blizzo because he is literally the perfect teammate to have you is yourself stay alive. Zipai getting bursted down, has Astral Shift. He's being greedy. He's trying to hold on to it. He manages to hang on to it for now. Now Acro getting reversed, but look at that mana bar. Ratapai's almost tapped out. If they don't get a kill with this next next Dark Archangel, I think it's curtains for them. We've seen making a movie pull out miracles before. I wouldn't count them out just yet. Zipai still has the Astral Shift. They'll let you said that greedy play pays off for him. Gonna have that available. Big swap now over on Acro. Trinket's gonna proc to keep him alive in this situation. Ratify's man is not doing well. Looney in a good position, throwing out the heal. Oh! But Zipai gets lower and lower. Good burst damage coming in from making a movie. Once again, just going through the healing of Looney. Iron Bar's gonna be committed. Zipai not using the Astral Shift, so extra beat to the moon. We, we, we know them for these key defensive uh, plays where they're not overlapping defensive. That's gonna be huge against a team like making a movie. They have to kill Zipai through Astral Shift, and I mean, maybe they can do it, but they're going to need a ton of damage. Interrupt onto the Hex there. Nice job from Acro, but he's caught into a Stormbolt. Blizzo isn't swapping, though, on, on that Stormbolt. Now making his way over, but Zipai gets interrupted. Stunned at low HP. Ratify playing Schism. He's playing complete offense build on this Discipline Priest. If they don't get a kill soon, though, his battery is running out. He's so low on mana. Blizzo getting set up to peel this swap. Ratify's moving in to potentially fear Looney. Looney needs to be ready for it. He's ready and waiting behind the pillar. Zipai getting softened up down below half. As soon as making a movie pull the trigger, they need to get a kill. They've got all their offense of cooldowns up. Ratapai moves in with Rapture trying to march his way towards Looney for a Psychic Scream. Looney kites away. Acro in stealth trying to sap him maybe. And he goes for a cheap shot instead. Potential Polymorph as well. Not able to fight. Yes, they do find it. This is it. They have to pull the trigger. All oh, cooldowns pop. It needs to be enough. Will it be? Blizzo lands a double fear. Is that going to be enough for Zipai to hang on? Looking to fake out the counter spell. Trying to find a hex in these final moments, but he's managed to survive. Will he be able to further on? The uh. damage is just so high at this point. Zipai on the run. Ducking back behind the pillar. Ratify moving in. Finally to try and get it. He gets the Psychic Scream. Zipai in a three on one, but unfortunately Tremor Totem will break Looney out of that Psychic Scream. We see a cheap shot attempt. They still whoa, need whoa, to whoa. find a kill. Will they get it? They need it here and now. Ratify's completely tapped on mana. You can see Ratify still just spamming out the spikes. Kidney shot on Zipai. Do they have the damage? Take him down. Thomas Storm coming in, but rounding Totem. Zipai's still getting lower and lower. He's going to be cutting behind the pillar. Looney able to stabilize him for now. Said it's going to be top. Zipai looking to counter pressure on Acro. Making a movie hat, nothing left. He gets gripped away. Evasion's gonna be used as well. But trying to stay on target. Doesn't want to lose all that momentum, but making a movie may have ran out of time. Look at Looney's mana, though, throughout all that pressure. He's almost completely tapped now as well. They've got a couple more Storm Bolts in them, and then both teams will be tapped. It might go down to a 2v2. Momentum is in favor of XRB. Zipai just tunneling into Acro. Desmay trying to finish it full blind trinket. Ratify's got Dark Archangel. They're gonna pull the trigger. The last opportunity to find a kill. Blizzo disarms the rogue. Denied a bit of pressure, but it might not be enough. He 
Kelly hangs on, catches some heal, and survives. Looney almost tapped on Mana, though, as he's hanging on by a thread. Blizzle gets polymorphed. Morrow is trying to pause out the game. Maybe Ratify can sneak away for a drink. Ratify's behind the pillar. Morrow's got no ice blocks, actually. He's used all of them to break out of crowd control. He's got to be a bit careful in this position. Looney, I would imagine, is sitting down and drinking. If he gets Mana off this drink, unless they lose during it, I think they're easily going to close this out. Looney did get a drink. His Mana is secured, and this is looking like it's going to be the end for making a movie in game one. Yeah, Acro really doesn't have too much left. Ratify keeping him alive. The last few fumes of his mana bar. Pain suppression going to be committed as well as the Rapture. So that really is the last line of defense. Making a movie does have Vendetta coming up, though. They might have an opportunity here to take down z once again. Oh. Acro moving in. Is he going to find the cheap shot? Manages to land it. Morrow gets interrupted on the polymorph, though. Looney going to be out of crowd control, able to keep z alive. Yeah, Vendetta popped. Zipai's being greedy, not trading Astral Shift just yet. They used Iron Bark instead of this greedy play. Potentially cost them more cool cooldowns over their life. Dark Archangel, that's a huge boost of damage. Morrow full channel. Ray of Frost, lots of pressure. Looney trying to recover. We've only just stepped into dampening as Ratify's been tapped and hanging on by a thread. He's got no mana. Is he going to be able to do it? He's been on no mana for two minutes. Full poly secured with no trinket, but a double fear from Blizzo. Of course, Blizzo just breaking it up, denying any follow-up. Looney now out of crowd control, reapplying those hots. Ratify is just completely tapped. He's got almost nothing left to keep his team going, but they're still marching forward as z gets burst to down low on, triggering that tank trinket. That's going to allow him to soak up this entire attack. Looney almost tapped on mana again, though he may need to drink and try and escape. z swaps over to the healer. What is Ratapai going to do in this position, man? This tank trinket is XRB to the moon's best friend in this matchup, keeping z alive over and over. Ratapai, no mana available. Like I said before, we've seen him pull off the miracles. If anyone can do it, it will be him, but when you're just this far behind on mana. If Blizzo and z can connect, Ratify surely will fall down. He doesn't have anything. There's a kidney shot on z Still making a yeah. movie, looking to make some plays. Can they take z down? Disarm coming in from Blizzo once again. Key defensive player for XRB to the moon to keep their team alive. But making a movie is still doing an excellent job finding pressure in this matchup. Even with nothing left, Ratify just goes all in to get a kill every single time. He's hanging on by a thread. Dampany is mounting up. Looney's now almost completely tapped on mana. It's completely even playing field at this point for either team to take it. z getting bursted down, fully channeled Ray of Frost, tons of damage. Looney barely hanging on, Innervate allowing him to buy time and heal for free. That Innervate was critical, but he didn't line it up with the Tree of Life, so he's going to run out of mana very quickly if he uses that later on. Stormbolt on Acro, no trinket. Polymorphs from Morrow, the only thing keeping Acro alive right now as Rapture is up for Ratapai. Big powered shields. Ratapai recovers once again in what would be normally an unrecoverable position, making a movie or making a miracle. Yeah, making the movie really just looking for all out damage, all out aggression on the z just killing him through everything. Once again, Kidney Shot can be connected. Looney has the Iron Bark, not respecting the damage just yet. But a lot of bursts coming in from Morrow. Still has the Icy Veins, though, available in this matchup, so he might be able to push through. Once again, there's the Cheap Shot over on the Looney. Is there going to be any follow up? z just holding hands with Looney on this pillar, just trying to stay on top of his healer so he can connect those heals. Ratify still out of mana. Akko really doesn't have anything left. No evasion, no vanish, no nothing. Trying to just kite away. Morrow is doing such a good job in this match of making sure everyone is controlled, making it very difficult for XRV to actually close out this game. And Looney's been getting drinks, and he's been keeping a lead for his team despite this, uh, the, the huge advantage they've had. So Looney's got good presence of mind to play for the late game, even though they had such a huge advantage. z now getting bursted. No Vendetta. That was not Vendetta. They managed to bait out Astral Shift without it. Dampening is forcing cooldowns. They managed to get the tra tank trinket as well. This is a huge opening to kill z -Pi. Moving forward, Dark Archangel up in five seconds. This could be the final push. Making a movie could potentially pull this off if they can line up everything perfectly. They're Polly and Blizzo trying to get the dispels out of the way and set up perfectly. If they can get the trinket on the blind, they need to do it soon. Ratapai is running on fumes. Yeah, kitty shot on z -Pi. He trinkets out. Iron Bar going to be committed by Looney as well. Morrow getting low. Ratapai gets interrupt uh, interrupted. Paint suppression on to Morrow. z still getting Lower and lower, Frost will spam coming in from Morrow on to Z5, but he gets popped off. Still just kiting away from Acro. Acro trinkets out, wants to keep up the pressure. Do they have any offensive cooldowns left? Doesn't look like making Here it really has too much left besides that Vendetta. This next kidney shot could just kill z instantly. They've got Vendetta, they've got Schism. Ratapai can lay in a ton of damage as well. I'm surprised they haven't just pulled the trigger. Acro getting reversed. There's the kidney shot. They have to kill him 100-0 through the healing. Do they have enough power oh, no to win? 
He hangs on. He's barely hanging on. He's trying to retreat back to the pillar. Then he goes for Tranquility, but he's completely tapped on mana once again as both teams continue swinging into what I would say is impossible. How did they get to this point? This game should have been over already. Yeah, bash on the acro. Looks like XRB wants to get aggressive onto him. Life grip secured by Ratify. Ratify, I don't know how he's been healing. He's had no mana for the last five minutes of this game. Zeke getting low, Blizzle getting low as well. They don't want to overextend in this situation, but they really have no choice. They have to try to close out this game. They can't wait for the next vendetta. Looney running on fumes as well. 30% dampening. Swap. There's the blind on Looney. He trinkets out into a cheap shot. Barrow looking for the Polymorph. Manages to land it. Can they find the damage over on the Zeke Astral Shift gets traded out. If they can get any more CC on Looney, it's going to be curtains for the XRB to the moon. Nice sap. Garot on Zeke as well into the cheap shot. Ratify there for the fear. DR fear is going to be thrown out. How is Zeke alive? Iron Bark getting committed by Looney to keep him alive. He's still getting bursted down. Can they finish him off? See by retreating to the pillar to stay alive. That inner vape from Looney. He's got free healing for a couple more seconds to pick Z Pi back up, but he's just taking so much damage to trigger the tank. Trigger Blizzle leaves over for a storm bolt. Z Pi connects and Acro's in trouble. There's absolutely nothing left for him, but Radify is still doing it. He's still hanging on. Is it enough? He's 19. Oh, it's not enough. Z Pi squeaks it in. They had the edge for the entire game, but could just not close. They didn't pick up the win. You need to be looking at them right now saying, my goodness. My goodness, you guys are incredible. They, they truly are. Now, on the other hand, XRB to the moon, Zico. This is the meta that these guys have, have dreamed of for years. We talked about that, that Supertease wants to see the Moonkin versus Moonkin battle. He got that today. This is what XRB, this is like a, a vacation to a tropical island for them. Now, not only do they, typically we, or we see XRB one more time just enjoying their vacation on defensive island. Defensive Island. I mean, Blizzo playing that Windwalker Monk, as Venruki pointed out, lost a lot of self healing, so he could be an easy kill target as soon as he's worked through that touch of karma. Or more importantly, his trinket. He has to have trinket to activate his defensive. So pay attention to that little gladiator helmet icon below his class icon. As soon as that's on cooldown, he's going to be an open target for making a movie. In the meantime, Acro Crossing Center Field opens with blind right away, and Zuni's just going to trade the trinket on that. Fair trade early on. Frozen Orb still punching through. They managed to get the trinket absorb proc without committing too many offensive cooldowns, which is critical now for making a movie to find a kill. Nice polymorph to follow up. Ray of Frost gets interrupted by Blizzo. Zipai on the run, trading one for one with Acro. That one-on-one -on -one trade seems to be enough for Zipai to tank out behind the pillar, but Maro played it patient, held onto icy mains, and they still have that big punch to throw. Maro's going to burst in. That was a big rising sun kick from Blizzo. More to follow up, and Maro has to block at such dangerously low health. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If Morrow is using both of his blinks to get those polymorphs on the Looney, Blizzle can punish him. Oh, it's unhealable damage. Morrow still taking a lot of pressure. There's a smoke bomb, though, on the z I Do they have the follow-up damage? Looney trying to keep him alive. Does have the Iron Bark. Evan Bolt can be connecting, but z ultimately will survive that incoming damage from making a movie. XRB to the moon. Blizzle won that Windwalker Monk. Like I said, punish Morrow. Already one Ice Block down. Yeah, Blizzle is just going to be tunneling the mage, and z is going to attack whatever he can and try and stay alive. So Blizzle is really the playmate. He's the one getting all the pressure, and Zipai's is doing whatever he can to stay alive and buy time for Blizzo to make that move. Looney far away. We see a paralysis on Ratapai. They're going to set up with a double leg sweep. Clean setup here from XRB, but Maro preemptively read that situation, soaked up all the damage, and easily deflected that attack. Now Zipai will be on the back foot. Yeah, Blizzo's actually playing Gnome as well. I really like this decision. He's going to be able to use the escape artist racial as well as that Tiger's Lust to be getting out of these Novos. Novas coming in from Maro in the situation, getting him a huge uptime to allow uh, his team to do a lot of burst damage. Morrow trying to control him up with some polymorphs. Zipai and Blizzle finally able to connect some damage on Morrow, but Ratapai in a good position to spam out the heals. Another go here by making a movie. This is the Icy Veins and Dark Angel committed by Morrow right now. A lot of pressure on the Zipai. Looney responds with the Iron Bar. Yeah, and it seems to be enough to soak through this pressure. I'd love to see more swaps onto Blizzo and maybe bait his trinket or something moving forward. It seems like making a movie are kind of tunneling one target maybe just a little bit too much. I see Paralysis capped out and he got a trinket. This huge damage. Nice vortex on the blink from Looney. Perfect positioning, but Morrow manages to finally escape the safety. It cost him both his blinks, and now he can't blink in for Polymars or blink away and kite. So Zipai is going to get some uptime here, and an Enhancement Shaman hitting you in the face is not going to be too comfortable. Acro tries to peel him away with a stun. Nice double stun. Morrow in position. Position for a polymer. Perfect setup there from Acro. They've got Vendetta rolling. They managed to proc both defensives, overlap that trinket absorb and the astral shift. This is a huge opening now for making a movie.
Yeah, z could be in a little bit of trouble. Looney is still in a good defensive position. Blizzo taking some damage. I really feel like they might want to commit some damage over on the Blizzo in this matchup. Windwalker Monks, like I said, very susceptible to that damage. Whereas z is going to be a little bit more tanky. Uh, Blizzo is also being very annoying on tomorrow right now. Touch of death. Have a huge amount of uptime. There's a touch of death. Do they have any follow-up damage? Morrow activating the temporal shield, realizing that the damage is incoming, just spamming out the polymorphs on the Blizzo to de deny. There's a cheap shot on the Looney. Any follow-up CC could be devastating on his Zipai, but Ooh. looks like he's going to be able to survive. There's the blind. He trinkets out. Zipai still just kiting away as he does get low. Iron Bar committed by Looney. That was a big uh, win by making a movie. They were able to get Looney's trinket as well as that Iron Bar on Zipai. He really doesn't have anything left. So unfortunate. Ratapai wanted to fear Looney, but he was just a few inches too far away and didn't land it. So now Looney could evenly trade trinket for blind. He would have loved to get a trinket on the psychic screen. Ratapai trying to get some damage going. Dark Archangel pop. Huge pressure towards Zipai. This is the opening. They have to kill him in this window. Do they have the damage to do it? No, he gets denied. Zipai healing himself back up with those healing surges as Maro is trying to get control of Blizzo. Nice double fear. Zipai's got Tremor. He can back up Looney, get him out of that right away. Acro looking for a re-stealth. Maybe a cheeky sap. I, I don't think Looney's going to drop combat. They go for cheap shot instead. Maro trying to get in position to polymorph out of this, but he can't. He's just going to go for damage instead. Can't afford to overextend. Preemptive temp shield there. That's now out of the way. Nice blink counter spell. Clean setup here by Maro. Huge damage as well, but it gets deflected by a double cap totem. Perfect play from Zipai to deny that setup for Maro. Yeah, big pressure now on Amaro. He actually gets chopped off quite easily. That was Blizzo's Serenity. Unfortunately, not really getting anything done. Amaro's not overextending with those blinks, realizing he needs them to survive that Serenity cooldown. So I like that adaptation from Amaro, not really getting as aggressive with the crowd control because Blizzo will be able to punish it. Vendetta coming up very shortly for making a movie. Zipai does have the Astral Shift to trade out. Ratapai just spamming out the smite. Zipai having a little bit more of a difficult time connecting to his target, having to play way more defensive on this larger map. With all that control coming in from the Frost Mage. Here's another setup by making a movie. Garot on to Zipai, cheap shot on Looney, but appears to be no follow-up, unfortunately. In this matchup, Ratapai's been doing an excellent job with his mana, not running out of mana immediately like we saw in the past, but unfortunately, Looney has basically lost none in this matchup so far. He's just been drinking constantly. There was at one point in this game, maybe two minutes in, Ratapai had a lead, but Looney knows and always plays for the late game, and he just sets up drinks and resets his mana bar and plays for the win condition of his team on the most defensive map. They're trying to take advantage of that, and Looney's doing a great job. We see a smoke bomb drop. He tries to get inside of it, but it's not enough. And gets completely erased all of the offensive cooldowns from making a movie lined up at the exact same seconds. They managed to whittle down that tank trinket, got it out of the way, and then with a stun and no trinket, he couldn't activate Astral Shift. And that That's why we didn't talk about Big Red Button as much. Now we're seeing how making a movie can get around those trinkets, Ego. Yeah, and it's all about forcing them and then playing around them. And that's what they did here uh, in the previous setup for that kill. They managed to proc that trinket off of Zipai uh, when they landed that uh, Blink CS, I believe. And then there it is. Nice smoke bomb. A lot of damage from Ratapai as well as Maro there. And then as soon as Looney enters that smoke bomb, he gets... For this one, this could just be making a movie going all out, getting this AoE damage in or... We could see XRB to the moon with a big trick up their sleeve. Whoever takes this one going to set themselves up to be on match point in the series. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're tied up one to one, making a movie versus XRB to the moon. These teams have been rivaling each other. They're basically tied on points. They both need to get as many as they can to qualify for BlizzCon this year. Looney is playing that Spirit Link talent, which redistributes damage to his entire team. So it is likely that Maro and Akro will have to focus on dotting the entire team and AoEing them down. We already see a frozen orb on the entire team trying to slow their assault. And Ooh. XRB to the moon are actually going for the all out aggression strategy, but they're getting clotheslined and completely denied early on. Yeah, Looney's left all alone. Nicely done by Zipai, though, slowing down some of that Ray of Frost damage from Maro. Stun now on to Ratapai. He's going to get out of that. Serenity has been popped. They need to get the offensive dispels from Looney in order to tear through these defenses of Ratapai. Ratapai could be in some trouble, but manages to stabilize. For now, Shadowman's going to be spammed out. In the meantime, Acro and Maro just doing work on the Looney, putting out tons of pressure. Oh, nice pre-Earthen shield totem here from Looney. That's soaking up all the damage on this stun. It's forcing Maro to just spam Polymars defensively to protect Ratapai. This is the first time we've seen Looney play aggressive 
aggressive. He's the best defensive healer in the game, hands down, but now he'll be tested on a different play style. Will he be able to stay in their face, spam out those purges, and find a kill early on? So far, he's falling behind. We see touch of death. We need purges during these power of shields. Pain suppression gets traded out. Ratify trying to tank the damage. Looney caught into a stun. Who's going to back him up on this? Nobody's really backing him up. Frozen Orb, there's a disarm. On to Acro, denying a bit more follow-up. Looney trades out Ascendance. He's running on the ropes at this point as far as defensive cooldowns. He's desperately staying on target, and I ultimately could see a cross kill. I think Ratify and Looney could fall at the same time. Ratapai has nothing left. He's caught into the full stun, blind over on a Blizzard. Nice defensive play coming in from Acro, realizing Ratapai could be in some trouble, but Discipline Priests are so dang tanky in this game right now. Double fear coming in from Zipa, or from Ratapai on a Zipa and Blizzo. Big pressure over on a Looney out of the kidney shot. A lot of damage. Dark Archangel is going to be committed by Ratapai to boost his team's damage. Ray of Frost gets tunneled. Uh, Zipai luckily is able to interrupt that, keeping Looney alive for now. I mean, right now, Looney is the one falling behind on the race, but it's, I still feel like it's anyone's healer could go down. Nice death grip on Maro, interrupting any polymorphs. Looney on the run, avoiding Acro with Chains of Ice. Great teamwork from Zipai, holding Acro in place with Chains of Ice. Ratapai getting kicked. Wincher on Maro. Good cross CC from XRB to the moon, but a double fear on DPS. Buys Ratapai a second. Is that second going to be enough to stay alive? He's running on fumes. Huge burst following up. Polymorphs from Maro, the only thing keeping him going. He needs this. He gets stunned on it. He goes for another. Looney now caught into a kidney shot. Ratapai keeps getting shut down. Both healers in so much trouble as it's a race to the finish. Looney could actually fall first. He's silenced up. He connects the link once again. He's got Earthen. I'm surprised he's not trading it out just yet. He wants to make sure he can get it on the whole team, maybe. He's still being greedy with it and falling very far behind. Yep, still getting bursted down. Big Riptide connects to him, though, as he ducks out of line of sight. Morrow not going to be able to do any follow-up damage. Ratapai almost completely tapped on mana, but he does have the Dark Archangel available. He could use that to potentially take down Looney. Kidney shot on him. Fear on a Z5. Polymorph on the Blizzo. Very nicely done by making movie this could be their last potential effort to take down Looney in this matchup ratify is almost completely tapped on mana but Looney's still in so much trouble astral shift gets traded out he's gonna be so tanky with the earthen shield totem with the astral shift with the spear like basically impossible to kill at this moment but after this he is so susceptible I mean both healers have traded out their entire arsenal to stay alive at this point they could just both fall over and this could be going down to a two versus two between Acro, Maro, Blizzard and Zipai very shortly a triple fear from ratify but Tremor is going to break out the team Great job by Looney trying to keep his team aggressive. Ratify trying to make as much distance as he can. Acro getting disarmed at the final second. Looney's got nothing left uh -oh. in terms of cooldowns. But Ratify has nothing as well. Blind on Blizzo. Stun on Rata. He trinkets out. Connects one heal in the final moments as both healers could be falling at any second. Who is going to win the race to the finish? Any magic zone right now protecting Looney. Ratify does not have that same safety net. He's hanging on by a thread. Looney's moving in to close this out. Connects the spear like one purge on these shields. Could just end Ratify's life, but he doesn't have the mana to do it. Both healers falling behind. Morrow trying to abort, trying to spam a polymorph. Zipai AMSs to immune the polymorph and stay on target. Who's going to fall first? They're still hanging on. There's a double leg sweep. Ratapai running out of time. Do they have the damage to take him down? Pain suppression comes in in the nick of time. Looney can't believe that Ratapai is still alive. He's been oomed for so long, but that is the story of the young rat as he tries to escape once again. Nice double fear keeping himself alive. Zipai gets out. Interrupts him. Penance comes in. Stunned by Zipai. Ratapai's still getting so low. How is he still alive? Rising Sun Kick finally connects by Blizzo, closing out the game. And XR beats him. And said they're trying to play to the map here. Uh, the map, of course, is really good for these double melee setups and, and sitting on that Discipline Priest. But uh, as we also saw, it took them a super long time to actually kill Ratapai here. You can see Looney's mana bar is, I mean, it's pretty much the same as Ratapai's here. And I really feel like if uh, Acro and Maro set up a little bit cleaner onto Looney, they could have definitely won this game. Looney had to trinket a kidney shot. Instead of... Curious to see if Nat, the legendary Nat Peggle there, as we saw moving into the arena, will be able to fish up a win for making a movie. They need two in a row if they want to stay in the upper bracket. This is a bit of a grudge match for them. XRB to the moon reverse sweep them at the summer finals earlier this year. So making a movie, need to make some moves. We see a sap on Zipai. Acro crossing the map, looking to get a sap on Looney as soon as possible. And they do actually manage to get it, which is unexpected. Normally you don't get a sap against the pet team. Now Zipai is in a ton of trouble early on, trading out almost his, a huge defensive arsenal. He's still just barely hanging on. Acro goes for a blind, gets a trinket pulled out of the way as well. This is a great start for making a move. Yeah, a lot of defensive cooldowns going to be forced out. Acro still trying to continue the pressure, but XRB to the moon looks like they found their target. They want to be tunneling down Acro in this matchup. Should be able to survive, though, with Morrow free casting. He's going to be able to get a lot of polymorphs out. No, Blizzard turning his attention over on Morrow, trying to get some pressure there. There's another kidney shot committed onto Zipai. Looks like Ratapai is going to be playing very defensive in this matchup. He knows he's a potential target, 
Morrow getting bursted down with, from the serenity of Blizzo. Morrow manages to deflect it with the polymorph band with the temporal shield and ultimately will survive. All right, Zipai and Looney are just ducking for cover right now. They know that they blew a ton of defensives. They're a huge opening. Uh, okay, Zipai actually just going to march into the middle of the map. That's going to expose them to potentially a lot of burst. Morrow setting up for a poly, gets interrupted by Luna. They need to stall out these polymorphs as long as possible, but even without it, they managed to pull more defensives, forcing that tank trinket again from Zipai to Proc. They could make a swap to Looney as well with no trinket if they want to stun and swap over to him. At this point, making the movie are in a great position. Right now, Ratify's mana maybe not looking too good. He might want to look for a drink that could bait them into a bad position as well. Blizzard trying to set up for uh, an ice block force here. Maro blinks away from the touch of death first. Now they go for a smoke bomb play. Zipai whoa, locked down a smoke bomb. Barely gets out with that trinket. Dark Pact trading out for a huge heal. Looney's going to be able to top him off behind the pillar, but another close call. And now with no trinkets on the team of XRB, the next crowd control chain could close the game up. I'm very impressed with the amount of damage Acro and Maro able to do in this matchup. The surprise burst really pressuring Zipai, Looney, and uh, Blizzo when they do try to push in and get aggressive. Kidney Shot once again committed over on the Zipai, and you can see making a movie. They're not really going for the crowd control. They're just going for all-out pressure. Kick. Shadow Step kick over on a Looney. Zipai getting lower. Trades out the AMS to keep himself alive. Looney in a good spot to keep him up with the Riptides. Blizzo just getting kited, CC'd all day, and as a Windwalker Monk, this isn't the position you want to be in. You're just getting polymorphed by Morrow, Cyclone by Ratify, and it becomes very difficult for you to get out that pressure. All right, Looney's actually out mana in Ratify. He has to go for a drink, but they pressured Morrow at the exact same second, so Ratify couldn't actually go for that and get his mana regenerated back. Looney's doing a great job on that defensively, showcasing why he is the best defensive healer in the world, in my opinion. Trade Trinket for Blind, that's a fair and even trade. Now he can easily keep Zipai going. Morrow trying to lead the charge here with an Ice Nova. Tons of damage. They managed to proc the Trinket with a counter spell. Maybe they have more damage. I don't think it's enough. To, that's a massive shoot. There's no way. Acker just immediately pulls away. Ratify not able to drink. His mana is actually almost tapped, and it's not very often that we get to see a Resto Druid run out of mana in the first three minutes. So the pressure from XRB is definitely mounting. We see a stun on Ratify as they're setting up for some damage. Unfortunately, Zipai gets closed. Line Ratify moves in for an aggressive play, bashing up Looney. There's no trinket on the healer, but he doesn't go for the clone. That was very surprising to not see Ratify go for that play. I guess he didn't want to risk it, but now he's falling even further behind. Yeah, wasn't there to support Morrow. Morrow unfortunately wasn't able to get the polymorph. It can be very difficult against him in Holy Death Knight to land those polymorphs. Polymorphs, you get interrupted by the pet that he brings, as well as that ranged mind freeze. So that's why Ratapai really has to be there in order to get those cyclones off. They have to cast at the same time, then the enemy team can only choose one person to interrupt. Ratapai looking for a drink, but unfortunately that gets shut down. Wasn't able to really find too much mana, but Zipai really having a difficult time pushing off of this pillar, having a difficult time getting away, and uh, really struggling to find pressure in this match so far. And if Zipai uses his trinket, Smoke Bomb comes up in 45 seconds for Acro, so they really want to try and get that before 45 seconds has elapsed. Maybe they can get it right here with this stun. I don't think it's long enough, but he's taking so much damage. Barely hangs on. Trades out the rest of his defensives just to survive. Now Acro getting reversed on his trinket proc. They cut through that. There's a ton of damage coming up from XRB. This is match point. Acro's on the run. Ratify got into stun. He's got Iron Bark rolling. Defensive polymorph play from Morrow buys time for Acro to survive. Now Morrow trying to reverse. They need some crowd control or just raw damage. They need something here. And now Zipai getting bursted down. There's the trinket. They force it before the smoke bomb. They might just kill him through it. Comet Storm into the AMZ, but that AMZ, the purple bubble, the only thing keeping Zipai alive. Oh, no! It still might not even be enough. They disarm Acro. Zipai hanging on by a thread. Spearling Totem connects in the nick of time for XRB to stay alive. But now Smoke Bomb is the play. Acro in 20 seconds can pull that with Vendetta and just erase Zipai. He needs to be ready for it. Yeah, Acro could there be in is. a little bit of trouble, though. There's the kidney shot on the Zipai. Do they have the damage? Smoke Bomb as well. Looney looking like he's in a good spot to keep his team alive. Zipai's going to be hiding away. Earthen Shield Totem going to pay dividends there to prevent some of that burst onto Zipai. Now Acro having to play a little bit defensive. Serenity coming up in around 30 seconds. And that Serenity really is key for XRB to close out this game. Stun now over on the Ratify. Acro trinkets out. No touch of death committed by Blizzo, though. So Acro basically has no defensives. And Blizzo's going to have his touch of death as well as that Serenity to take him down. I think Acker should have played it more patient with the smoke bomb. He had Vendetta coming up in 10 seconds. Ratify trying to get a drink, but he's not able to. I don't think he's getting that much mana, but Zipai has to run away, retreating back behind the pillar. This is a perfect opportunity. If Ratify didn't get at least some mana here, it would be devastating. I have to wait and see. I can't imagine that he didn't get at least some. Okay, now he's basically tied with Looney, but he's losing it at a faster rate. He would have liked to have gotten back to full mana. It's a bit unfortunate for him. Zipai now getting stunned, but he's in a good defensive position. Looney can heal him without getting interrupted in this position. Great job, defensive 
with Lee Zipai trying to hang on, but that was a huge hit. That's going to trigger the trinket proc from Zipai. Now that shield won't protect him later on. Vendetta is still rolling. Zipai's still in trouble today. He's trying to punish Acro. Acro overextended. Catching him in a stun lock. Manages to hang on. Burst it down to about 50. Now Zipai forced to retreat away as we've just mounted into dampening. Yeah, but this was Blizzo's serenity, and they weren't able to find too much pressure. That's going to make making a movie feel very safe in the upcoming moments. Without that serenity, the Windwalker Monk isn't that big of a threat now. Making a movie can get aggressive. Kitty shot on Zipai. Marl looking for some damage. He gets interrupted. Very nicely done. Zipai still getting lower and lower. Marl throwing out a blizzard now. Try to keep up some of that pressure on the Blizzo and Zipai. Just building up that frost mage damage. Building up the icicles. Building up the flurry procs so they can get that big hit of burst when they get that crowd control on the loon. Yeah, but Zipai's defensive cooldown. Just look. Everything is there. He's going to be the most tanky Ooh. target for at least like another two minutes. So making a movie have a lot of things to work through. And Ratify's trying to get a drink. Doesn't look like Looney could stop it just yet. Mars out of the block. Nice double leg sweep from Blizzo. Mario trades Trinket to get out of that situation. Did not want to have to use his second block already. Zipai in a stun, but gets disarmed. I don't think they're going to have enough damage with the disarm timing there from Blizzo to force much. They actually do manage to get Icebound Fortitude. That's a bit of a random move from Zipai, and it leaves an opening later on for making a movie. I'm surprised to see him trade out such a big cooldown for a situation that didn't seem that desperate. Now a counter spell secured from Mario. Zipai is still on the run, ducking for cover back around the corner. Should be able to pick him back up, ripping Acro out of line of sight. These Death Grip stuns on Acro. Acro potentially could get a kill later in the game when dampening is higher. Morrow getting bursted down to half. Lizzo just split targeting, trying to run Ratify. Oom as dampening mounts higher. Yeah, Blizzo once again has a Serenity available to create some huge pressure. Acro really doesn't have anything to keep himself alive, but if he leaves Morrow wide open, he's going to get susceptible to these Polymorph spams. He's on DR now. Was he going to pull the trigger and try to get that burst pressure going for his team? A lot of damage over on Amaro now. Serenity still not pop. As Amaro gets lower and lower, but there's a kidney shot on Zipai, making a movie, looking to get aggressive. Smoke Bomb committed as well. Leg sweep now over on Amaro. Serenity up. Amaro's in a lot of trouble as he tries to blink away. Gets grip back. Temporal Shield was activated. Uses the Cold Snap and the Ice Barrier to buy that Temporal Shield a little bit more time. And now Zipai is the one that's in trouble. He's caught in center field at the moment. Looney puts Healing Tide Totem behind the pillar, but Ratapai moves in. Please, Ratapai, go for a clone. He's not going to go for a clone again. Morrow now under fire. He's falling behind. Zipai into a kidney shot. Both players in trouble. Ratapai is now losing the mana tie that he got back earlier on, but they are having a ton of burst potentially here for Zipai. He ducks behind the corner, grips Rat Acro out of line. Not really the best death grip there, unfortunately. He is going to commit all in on this. It seems a bit strange for Zipai to really commit all that damage in a situation that was not going to net too much. Now that threat isn't available for later. Ratify can maybe duck and look for a drink. We see Touch of Death. Blizzo trying to get a solo kill. This is a fury, but the Temporal Shield could go off in time. Will the Temporal Shield save Morrow? And it does appear to be the case as he bounces back to full. Cheap shot on Looney. Morrow setting up for a win. Instant kick, though, by Blizzo. Denying any more follow-up. Paralysis, double legs. So Blizzo setting up to get a kill. Morrow trinkets out, trying to get away. Gets rooted in place, but there's just no damage. Morrow just tanking it out for now. He's got Icy Veins rolling. Zipai deflects with the anti-magic zone. Finally, they've whittled through Zipai's defense but there's still quite a few more to go and Ratapai's tapped on mana. Yeah, Looney into the full polymorph though. Zipai having to run away. Doesn't have many defensives left. There's the full kidney shot. Can he keep himself alive? There's the bash on Looney as well. Ratapai has to go for the Cyclone. Doesn't manage to find it. Another polymorph coming in from Morrow. Doing an excellent job controlling the enemy team in this game. Zipai still just rotting down lower and lower. Dampening now at 26%. Temporal Shield going to be activated by Morrow. A little bit preemptive there. Blizzo still has that Serenity. It's what I've been talking about a lot in this matchup, but it really is is the key for XRB to land a kill. All right, Zipai retreating back behind the pillar. Just trying to find an opportunity here. They got no trinkets. So they can stack Acro and Morrow up for a double leg sweep. That could be a devastating play. Ratapai needs to get a drink. I like that they're pressuring him. They know they need to deny that mana regen. But in the meantime, Frozen Orb has been placed down. And Zipai is in a ton of trouble. He's not trading cooldowns. Death Pact is going to get traded out. Any Magic Shield now as well. Absorbing a huge hit. Allowing him to stay aggressive. But he's overextending a counter spell from Morrow. Could close the game out. Icebound Fortitude deflects the, a little bit of this attack. Will it be enough? Dampany is starting to mount so, so high. Looney ducks in for a Spearling Totem. Massive cooldown overlap. They had quite a lead, and it's basically been burned through in a matter of seconds, and now it's an even ball game. Yep. Zipai into the kidney shot. Bash on Looney. Ratapai still getting a little bit low as well. Morrow's doing a good job kiting still, but Ratapai is completely tapped on mana. He has nothing left to work with. Morrow forced him to the ice block, and unfortunately, because he saved his cold snap for so long, he's not going to have a third ice block coming up for quite some time. This is a huge opportunity for XRB to take them down. If they can continue to train down Morrow, slow down his damage generation, they might be able to just outlast making a movie. All right, Blizzard's got touch of death rolling. He's trying to find a solo kill 
whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no blocks available. Radapai's got no mana left. If they could just stay on target, High Mountain Tour and Racial to buy even just a second for Morrow. But I don't think that is going to be enough. Iron Bark, they drop Smoke Bomb in desperation as both teams are flailing to stay alive and find a kill in potentially the final moments of this match. Both healers completely tapped on mana. Zipa, the kidney shot was DR'd, unfortunately, from the High Mountain. Rachel, that could just throw the game potentially. Radapai moves in, clutches a bash in the final seconds, and Zipai is going to fall. But Morrow could fall just at the same second as well. Blizzo can stay on target. He's Trinity. He can no! cross kill. Zero, zero mana left. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Morrow gets deleted out of the game, and now we're down to a 2v2. 40% dampening. Ratify completely tapped on mana. Rooney completely tapped on mana. This is looking like it might be in favor of making a movie in this matchup. Blizzo, he does have the touch of karma, but not going to be too tanky. Good consistent damage going to be coming up from Acro in this matchup. I'm very curious to see who pulls ahead. I mean, this is match point. Acro caught into a leg sweep with no trinket. I don't think Iron Bark is going to do too much this deep into dampening. Acro shadow steps away defensively. Blizzo reconnects. Trying to pump out as much damage as possible. I'm not sure who I'd give the advantage to in 2v2, but with zero mana on the healers and dampening ramped up so high, it's anyone's match. The healers are trying to sneak away for drinks. Looney's trying to deny the drink and heal his partner at the same time. Nice earth grab denies the drink. Blizzo dipping low, trades out fortifying brew. He's got a lot of defensives to work with, but so does Acro. Mana is still just so low at this point. Acro seems to have the momentum. I say that a rising sun kick just chunks Acro out of nowhere. Fists of Fury now flying. Surprising no evasion traded out for Acro. Nice cap totem sniped by Looney. He's looking for a cheeky Hex. He's trying to catch Ratapai off guard. He gets it, sneaks in the full Hex. Disarm now on Acro, but Blizzo gets kidney shot in the reversal as both teams gun down for the kill. Acro seems to be edging ahead little by little. Yeah, Acro's just going to throw a blind onto Blizzo. He shrinks out. He has no karma, no nothing. He's going on the damage. run to Acro. Ratapai deflects with the Iron Bark. Acro needs to survive just a little bit longer, and he has a huge advantage in the series. Blizzo's still low. Unfortunately, not getting topped off here, but still a lot of damage available. There's the full kidney shot onto Blizzo. It was DR, I think. Unfortunately, Earthen Shield Totem is going to get dropped out, but now Blizzle's in so much trouble. He's going to have to kite. I do not think he can trade out damage at this point. I, I mean, he can't. Ratapai's moving in to get a clone. He trinkets out, goes for the bash. If they land the Cyclone, Ratapai's just not even going for it. Pressure alone could just force Blizzo over the edge. He's switching targets, but I don't think he's going to find anything there. He's already popped Serenity. He's just desperately trying to make something happen. This is match point. Acro trying to stay in the game. Looney's got nothing left. Shadow Step kick. Blizzle falling lower and lower. Dip and harm absorbing a couple hits, but that might not even be enough. Riptides are rolling. And in. Spearling connects to the team. Looney keeps them going just a couple seconds longer. Can Blizzo clean this series up, or will the momentum of Acro just sink in? Before, fortifying Elixir is going to be coming up very shortly for Blizzo here. Disarm onto Acro. Still good pressure. There's a cap stun on to Ratify. Iron Bar preemptively used. Acro might be able to survive here. There's a full kitty shot on Blizzo. Looney able to spam on some heals, but he's completely tapped on mana. Healing Wave connects once again. Blizzo really just waiting 15 seconds for that touch of karma to keep himself alive. If they can weather the storm just a little bit longer, that'll be an opportunity for XRB to close out this game. All right, Ratify going for a bash. Blizzo moves over to deny any follow-up crowd control, but he's so low on health. Five more seconds. Will he make it to that point? He's got no trinket either. He needs to pre-touch a karma. He needs to go for an all-in. He didn't get the pre-touch of karma. Smoke bomb gets dropped. Looney's trying to get inside. Drops the earthen shield. Manages to sneak inside the smoke bomb. Touch a karma in the nick of time. Blizzo was still alive. Now, how will he build momentum? They've just been falling more and more behind over time as this game continues to push on. Blizzo now with nothing left defensively. He needs to connect a huge hit. Right now, uh -oh. he wants to find a kill. Ratify's got Innervate. He's got free heals. He purges it, potentially. Wind shear. No purge available. He can't. He doesn't have the mana. Blizzo caught into a kidney shot. There's nothing left for him. Looney's trying to find a hex, maybe, in the nick of time. But even still, if he gets it, I don't think they can keep it going. He goes for the leg sweep. Ben. Trinity. Kill him. Out of burst damage on Acro. They don't have anything. No iron bark. No evasion. No nothing. But Blizzo just can't find the damage. Rising Scepter comes in. Hex over onto Ratify. Acro flames to death. stay alive with that touch of death. Ratify, how are you going to keep him alive? Disarm now over on Acro. Touch of death, still ticking down Whoa. as he gets lower and lower. Taking down XRB to the moon, cleans up. Oh. Excellently done by Blizzo wow. and Looney. This final game, taking, making a movie down to the lower portion of the bracket. Yeah, I mean, just look look at his hex. Look at Looney. Hex, cancel. Ratapai is in bear form. Blizzo is in a kidney right now, so he, there's no need for, for Looney to be faking. Oh, Ratapai shifts out. Oh, fake. Then. Now, there's the leg sweep. Now, Blizz is popping his cooldowns. And then Looney knows he has to land this one. And there it is. He lands it, times it with the damage of Blizzle there. Acro, of course, going to try to step away and try to survive. And there's a touch of death as well. And then uh, Blizzle disarms Acro as well to prevent himself from getting stunned as he doesn't have that trinket. And there the touch of death takes and kills Acro.
I have one is down to that lower portion of the... Whoa, whoa, no. I thought they went to the other side of the bracket. That is terrifying. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> that old Ratify is going to be so tilted. Making a movie versus Method Black. Two of the best teams in the world. One of them is going to be getting eliminated. To oh, my. In the upper portion of the bracket. They are built off the remnants of that reigning BlizzCon championship team. What are they going to come up with? This is a team that has been so good at countering with this BFA meta. We're going to find out all of that and more, and we're going to see if Daily Feed can find the upset.